everybody. Welcome to. Okay, give it a second. Dragon Ball Z. Super Sonic Warriors. I wish I could do this from scratch, but I don't remember how. To erase the story, the information. Hmm, seems I haven't unlocked everybody anyway. Maybe I have, I don't know. The best part about this whole game is that you basically take whatever character you pick and they become the main character of, of the story. So let's take uh, Vegeta here. Scene 1, Shattered Pride. Let's see if I remember how to play this. I might not. I might be terrible. I might die several times, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Planet Namek. Gathering the Dragon Balls, Vegeta hoped to defeat Frieza, but his ambition crumbled as Frieza's strength surpassed his imagination. H how? How could this be? I'm supposed to be a Super Saiyan! Well, this is boring. It's as if you wanted to stop fighting. I know it's still early, but would you like me to put an end to you? This is goodbye, Vegeta. Vegeta! Kakarot? How could this be? Kakarot! No! Huh? Frieza, this is the end for you! Why are there two of you? Quiet, you. Forgive me if I don't remember what I'm doing. Final! Flash! Super Saiyan, the legends were true. I won't forgive you, Vegeta. I'll never forgive you. Huh? This planet will become universal dust! Furious, Frieza destroyed the core of the planet Namek. <laughs> I can survive in the... I can survive in outer space. What about you Saiyans? There are only a few minutes before this planet blows up. At least show some regret. 
He escaped. Coward. There's no hope for this planet. The only thing we can do is escape. Vegeta let Frieza go and escaped with Krillin on Goku's ship. Gohan just kind of left to die. So is Piccolo. One year later, Frieza, who survived the attack on Namek, discovered Vegeta on Earth. Earth. Frieza! This is I expected. I'll make sure you die this time. Why are you a robot? You didn't get sliced up this time. How does I keep forgetting how how uh, Chris Ayers does his voice? You should know that I've powered up Vegeta. Hm. I've become a legendary Super Saiyan. Do you really think you can defeat me? Fool, how dare you place yourself above me! What the feck? Okay, that's better. Guess Vegeta got covered in moss while he, while he was waiting. Go to hell! Oh, you, you tricky bastard! Ow. What's the block button? I can't remember. Big bang attack! to be pushed around by him. Finally, Vegeta settled matters with his old enemy, Frieza. Now, what shall I do? If I had defeated Frieza, I don't have any more business on this planet. Being number one in the universe is also boring. I don't have a clue who to fight. Hmm? What are you? You... You're... Vegeta? Suddenly, a mysterious boy appeared before Vegeta. The boy who arrived from the future told Vegeta that he would die battling androids three years later. And without introducing himself, he left. <laughs> Me? Killed by a machine? Ridiculous! Hmm. Androids. We should be good. I'll confirm it with my own eyes. For his sake, he better not be lying. To confirm the ominous prophecy left by the boy, Vegeta stayed on Earth and started to train to prepare for what was to happen in three years. Scene 3, Appearance of Androids. Three years later. Shit got blown up. God. <laughs> Doing Vegeta's voice is hard. Realizing the prophecy of the mysterious boy, the androids appeared. And just give away his name. Dr. Jiro, da 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 da. The news that androids were destroying cities spread in no time and enveloped the earth in fear. Who? There's a great power that. Moo? It's powered as Vegeta! They really appeared. I guess what that guy said wasn't a lie. I've been waiting for you, Vegeta. I didn't expect you to come alone. Convenient. So you're the androids. I'm sorry, but I'm not impressed. Interesting, but your overconfidence will be your undoing. Tell me, how did you know we were coming? I don't answer to toys. Idiot, do you really think you can defeat androids? I use an iPhone. Eye capsule. Oh, 
I've been Yamchid. But it's okay, at least it wasn't a Cyberman. I'm afraid to shoot at him because he might absorb it. Now maybe I'm giving this game too much credit. Absorbing my chi. Oh, that was bad. I can't be beaten by the old man. saying Moo. Who is that? Weren't you fighting with him? What? The android you told me about! I don't know any... I've never seen them before. Remember well, 17 and 18 will be coming to kill soon to kill you. He vanished! Darn it, he escaped! Ugh. Escaping to his laboratory, Dr. Duro tried awakening androids 17 and 18. If they have been repaired, that would be good. Androids versus Vegeta. Chasing Dr. Duro, Vegeta and Trunks arrived at the laboratory. However, the androids were already revived. After the androids awoke, they killed Dr. Duro and were free. We're too late! What can we do? If we were a little earlier, we could have destroyed them before they were revived! Hey, you! Explain what's going on! They, they are the androids I talked about. They cause chaos in the future world. I see. Then these are the real things. Let's polarize them this time! No, we can't win by ourselves, they... I'll bust them into pieces. It doesn't matter, I'll clean them up! I get the feeling we're not going to be able to do that so easy. Guess I have a backup in case I die. He's level 3, I'm level 2. Trying, are you? Ow, you bitch. Did anyone get the number of that bitch? Eighteen. Thank you. The Prince of Saiyans should never be at zero percent power. Who sent for you to help? Vegeta, you're great, but not invincible. That power! How did you get it? 
How is it that someone like you who's not a, who's not a Saiyan can become a Super Saiyan? I thought there could only be one Super Saiyan. That's... Let me guess, Cell. What? Gah! <laughs> you! What are you? My name is Cell. I'm an android created by Dr. Jiro. I have to thank you. Because you de defeated Android 1718, I was able to become perfect like this. So, mysterious android absorbed 17 and 18 and became perfect. Trunks was defeated in one blow. Even Vegeta fell. Ah, uh, I fell! <coughs> I've decided to put on a martial arts tournament called Cell Games. If all the participants lose against me, I will kill all the humans in the world. As the declaration of the start of the Cell Games was broadcast by television, the world was enveloped by fear. Uh, you know, again. No! But a Super Saiyan is the ultimate form in the universe! No, it can't end like this. I am Vegeta! It doesn't matter how strong the enemy is, I'll show him I can surpass him! I'll surpass him? I'll surpass being a Super Saiyan! <coughs> God! Ugh! How does Lanny Pator do it? His voice isn't as raspy as that, but... Ugh! Ugh. Vegeta, defeated by Cell, sought to be far stronger and into the hyperbolic time chamber with Trunks. Who, I guess, isn't dead. After ten days, completing intense training, Trunks and Vegeta once again set, went off to confront Cell. The Cell Games, with the fate of the world at stake, began. I welcome you together. Let's start without delay. Trunks, don't you dare try to help. I'm going to kill him myself. With my friend, me! Ah! I can't beat you because you're level two? Three, rather, and I'm level two? I don't know how to block! I think I blocked. Dirty fireworks. I love dirty fireworks, they never do it anymore. Commander still having a little trouble getting that off? Big bang attack! Oh, I switched out. Okay, that is obscene. I was wondering how I dodged that. I swapped Vegeta's. With this... Against a level one cell? You think it'd be the other way around, and you start with level one. Dirty fireworks.
Big Bang attack. I missed. <laughs> You're doing well. I didn't think that in 10 days you could have powered up this much. But don't think you can defeat me at this level. I see. Regenerative abilities. But what's the big deal? What? I'll pulverize you while there'll be nothing left to regenerate! What? This can't be! I'm perfect! Vegeta's, Vegeta's final flash directly hit Cell's core. Cell was shattered into pieces and was annihilated. In this manner, the Cell Games came to a close, and peace returned to the Earth. Thanks to you, the present is saved. <laughs> I just didn't like that Cell guy. Time with you will not go to waste. Now I will save my future. Thank you, Father. Bye. Whoa, 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 whoa. Um, did he just call you Father? I see. So that's what this is all about. Good luck, Trunks. Scene 6, Confrontation with Destiny. Goku was granted one day among the living. Babidi, who was planning to revive Majin Buu, tried to manipulate Vegeta by taking advantage of his evil heart. <laughs> good, good, now he's mine. <laughs> Vegeta, control yourself, you're being used by Babidi. Whoa, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Vegeta! Ha! Ah. What's happening? Alright, Vegeta, dispose of the Supreme Kai. Kill him! Shut up! I'm only after Kakarot, I don't care about anyone else. What? I want Kakarot! Being manipulated, Vegeta! I'll give you a reason to fight me. I won't forgive you. Before we could settle things, you had to go and die on me. Here I come. I'll kill you with my own hands, Kakarot. Kuh. I see. Taking off my armor has caused me to uh, go up a level. The hell is this music? This is not appropriate for the Majin Vegeta vs. Goku fight. This is more like a friendly spar music. I don't know how to do. Suck it, Kakarot! I missed. Forget I did that. Teleporting Kamehameha. You're a prick, Kakarot. 
I will punch the shit out of you. I haven't hit him once, have I? Atomic Blast! Damn, I was really hoping I'd be able to do a beam struggle or something. Block! According to Bobbity's plan, Majin Buu was revived by the energy from the battle. Vegeta, what? I released Majin Buu. I'll deal with him. Settling my issues with you will have to wait. Only if I'm still alive. Feeling responsible for reviving Buu, Vegeta suddenly knocked out Goku and headed off to battle Buu. Warrior with greater pride. Heading off to fight Boo, Vegeta was prepared to die. So that our ugly meathead is Majin Boo. You, Vegeta, why are you here? Boo, kill him! I won't leave this world alone. I'll make all of you my traveling companions. Whoa, oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Suck it, Tubby. Vegeta cookie. Yeah. 
just blew up the planet. healing. Rump. Boot clearly generated after taking any damage. Even with Vegeta's desperate attack, he could not completely stop Majin Buu. Darn it! He's strong and invulnerable! I can't deal with him! Now I understand how to defeat you. To defeat you, I have to totally destroy you so you can never revive yourself! Huh? Goodbye, Bulma. Chunks. And Kakarot. Whoa! By sacrificing himself, Vegeta broke Boo's body into pieces to prevent him from reviving. But! Boo! Majin Buu was still alive. Even though he was torn to pieces, the fragments gathered and he revived. Need 8, Vegeta and Kakarot. A revived Majin Buu absorbed Gohan Piccolo and turned more heinously evil. He doesn't look like he absorbed anybody. Gahaha! Koo! Who now pose a threat to the entire universe? Vegeta passed on to the next world to discover that Goku was battling Boo. Chikara is in danger and I can't help him here. I, I'm the one that revived Boo! No! Oh no, I can't win like this. What should I do? What can I do? <laughs> Sky, it's getting dark. Someone must be using the Dragon Balls. It's this power, it can't be. Hmm. Vegeta! Kakarot, I have insulted with you. But first of all, I'm going to deal with this idiot. Ah! Cookied. Stop moving. Yes. Neither of us are having much luck, are we? Uh oh. Here, here, Kakarot, you take over. Punching him while he's down, what of it? He 
keep doing that by mistake. I'm gonna miss. Oh no, I changed my aim just at the last second, but I still missed. this. No, I'm not a cookie. doesn't have much left. My blast is powerful. Uh-oh. No! A Kaka cookie! Very bad aim, Goku. You mean have to move. Let's figure make a spirit bomb. Guess not. Did we save the world? Finish him before he can regenerate. All right. Whoa. -ho 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 -ho. Eat this. The com combine, the combine might of Goku and Vegeta destroyed Majin Buu. Did it. Hmm. The threat of Boo disappeared and peace returned to this world. Goku returned to the next world and Vegeta remained on Earth. A few years later, I will teach Trunks to be better than Kakarot. And I will go even beyond that. Vegeta let go of his pride and concentrated on becoming more powerful. Just wait, Kakarot. When I die and go to the next world, I'll settle things then. Uh 
okay with that. 300 points. Alright, call it a video here. I'm the Blues32. This is Dragon Ball Z Supersonic Warriors. TTFN. Ta-ta for now.